Well, Jurong Island may be known as a major oil refinery, but it's set for a green facelift. Some 300 hectares or 10% of land will be used to develop new energy solutions. Our firms can access shared pipelines, storage and facilities to test out cleaner fuels like ammonia and hydrogen. The island will also be home to Singapore's largest low-carbon data centre park. Nasha Rohim is back with us with those details. Fossil fuel-reliant Jurong Island is in for a green upgrade. Up to 44 million Singapore dollars is being funneled into energy-efficient infrastructure, like advanced combined cycle gas turbines. Its operators, Keppel and Semcorp, say the systems could cut 200,000 tonnes of carbon, about the yearly emissions of 80,000 households. Jurong Island will be the home to Singapore's largest data centre park. It'll take 20 hectares of space and that's equivalent to 28 football fields. It also has the potential to accommodate up to 700 megawatts of power capacity. That's to meet the growing demand for artificial intelligence. There's also a focus on keeping it green. Operators can use renewable energy sources available on the island and meet efficiency standards. At the same time, this energy storage firm is working with government bodies to harness ammonia as a low-carbon fuel. The aim is to diversify Singapore's energy mix and use ammonia to refuel ships. But demand remains a challenge. The market needs to be developed. So it goes from the regulation, the safety aspects of things, uh, the, the development of the engines of the ships, uh, to actually having mandates in place to really strengthen uh, the use of this. Uh, so th I think that's where, where the, the biggest challenges are. Um, we understand this will be a, a process that will take some time to develop, but where um, Advarius is, uh, is in here to stay and in for the long game. Since 2019, Jurong Island's output of sustainable products has grown 1.4 times, while it's on track with their 2030 goals, which is to increase such output by 1.5 times, it may take time for new innovative green projects to take off. We're trying to provide end-to-end -end solution. Uh, a lot of these solutions uh, sometimes is because technically it's costly. Uh, at the same time, you need off-takers, people who are willing to pay for the energy usage, the high you know, premium, right? Uh, so this part, we feel that maybe over the next few years, it's more of a test uh, pilot deployment scheme before maybe hopefully globally when the whole commercial and technical viability actually takes off. For now, it's about making room for firms to trial and test new low-carbon technologies to kick off the green transition.